Hey everybody, it's Becky Stern here at Adafruit where today we're talking about electroluminescent materials. EL wire, for short, is a stiff wire coated in an electrically sensitive phosphor. It lights up like neon, it comes in a bunch of different colors, and it's one of our favorite ways to make projects glow. So here's how EL wire works. Smaller wires wrap around the phosphor inside the PVC sheathing, called corona wires, and alternating current applied across the inner and outer wires makes the phosphor glow. EL tape and panel work in a similar way, where two layers of a dielectric material sandwich a layer of phosphor. EL materials are great for adorning wearable projects, like a fun animal mask or a hooded sweatshirt. Since EL tape and panel conducts evenly over the whole plane, you can cut it or mask it with vinyl to make any shape you want, as long as the cut shape is contiguous with the power connector. All EL materials need to be powered by an inverter. An inverter translates the DC voltage coming from the batteries into high voltage alternating current, or AC, required to excite the phosphor. Although it's high voltage, EL uses very little current, so it's safe to wear. We carry a few different flavors of inverters here at Adafruit. These battery-powered pocket inverters are great for increasingly large amounts of EL, from the tiny star on this shoe to something a bit more involved. For something bigger like a couch, these inverters can easily be attached to a 12-volt AC adapter. This one is even sound reactive. To solder to EL wire, first carefully strip off the outer PVC sheathing. If you accidentally cut one of the corona wires, just try again. Use a utility blade to scrape off the phosphor from the center stiff wire to get it ready for soldering. Add a piece of copper tape to the plastic just below where you stripped. Bend the corona wires back over it and solder in place. Wrap the copper tape around one more time to protect your solder joint. Then cut the connector cable like this so everything lines up. Place a larger piece of heat shrink tubing over the EL wire. Then a smaller diameter piece over the short wire we're about to solder. Tin the EL center wire and the connector's short end with a little bit of solder. Then reheat them together to make the connection. Slide and shrink that small piece of heat shrink and repeat to join the longer wire to the copper tape. Lastly, slide the larger heat shrink tubing over the whole deal and shrink it down. Test it by plugging it in and powering it up. For many designs, however, you won't need to solder your EL wire. You can create broken lines by simply shielding the light with heat shrink tubing, or use a splitter to connect multiple strands for more complicated designs. For inspiration for your own EL project, check out the guides in the Adafruit Learning System. And then don't miss our starter packs, inverters, and accessories for EL in the Adafruit shop. Thanks so much for watching, and subscribe for more videos from Adafruit.